Raheem Sterling underneath Edison. It's Julian Alvarez and he does equalise. Man City not stopping though. As it's Julian Alvarez and there's his brace to Gallagher back to Nicholas Jackson and Chelsea will not give in. It's the equaliser. Don't think it's the end of the world. We've played very well and I'll be honest, I'm quite happy with 2 2. However, in the next game, I'm laughing right. We go play Portsmouth in the Carabao Cup and the reason I'm laughing is because this happened last time against Sheffield United and we got absolutely battered. That will not be happening again, I promise you that. And I can absolutely confirm 100% we will not be losing this game lads I will not let you down again I've got a question though lads so Conor Gallagher is going to be out for three months right so now we don't have a centre mid to rotate with Enzo Fernandez. should I recall Gabri Vega or Carney Chukwameka that is the question I want you to answer in the comments or the young prospect David Gold he's only 17 69 rated looks very promising also lads before we go into the Portsmouth game we're doing kit numbers we start with Ben Chilwell as he has earned the number three shirt for me Thiago Silva is all also left leaving the number six open that will be given to Wesley Fofana. Noni Madueki has earned himself the number 11 shirt as he's been phenomenal for me in this career mode so well deserved there. A big one here lads as Christopher Nkunku will get himself the number 10 shirt as I feel like he's the most suited to that number it works quite well that. But anyways lads the team to play Portsmouth it will be this. Now I have seen the comment saying Kaiseido needs a replacement DM I totally agree. I'm gonna have to get one in for the winter and for now we'll just have to rotate Reese James maybe sitting DM his skipper at team his leader I want him to do a job in midfield I know he played there before for Wigan so we'll see how it goes Portsmouth coming forward straight away now it's really patient the skipper though Reese James will stop him in the midfield good ball now from the young lad to Dzeko as he will try one more he fails to do so Portsmouth breaking quickly though Mark Day comes out with the tackle but looking pretty good though Portsmouth looking quite sharp Davis now with another good ball. Nicholas Jackson will try volley it. Miscues it though. Chelsea go now. As it's a good ball into Davis. He's having a good debut so far, is this lad? He does wait for Nicholas Jackson, who gets his goal against Portsmouth. Doesn't matter. That'll do his confidence wonders. Davis out wide again. Good ball into Dzeko. There's two. He's two assists for the young lad. And he's having a right debut here. Jekyll now with the over the top. Nicholas Jackson's rapid. Is this a good touch? You will think it. He's already running off. <laughs> oh dear. Chelsea do see themselves over the line though. I made the promise. I will not be getting knocked out of the Carabao Cup first time round again. And I have stuck to the promise. They do beat Portsmouth as they should be doing. And I will take the victory. We do now host West Brom though in the Premier League. It's full strength though. It's got to be for Premier League. You can't take any games lightly in this league. So let's hope the lads can get it done. Five in five for Levy Garcia. Can he make it six? today oh lovely ball into Sterling as he goes to take on the keeper and it's got to be absolutely 100% penalty no questions asked we don't really have a penalty taker so Sterling won it he can have it and he does score 1-0 Chelsea great start for the lads that ball over from Levy Garcia into Sterling he's having a good game is Sterling as he's in again gets his second this West Brom keeper's not good enough we've only been playing 16 minutes and I can tell you that already brilliant from Sterling but the keeper's got to be doing better Oh, Madueke pinches it off him he just can't get there though if West Brom keep playing like this it'll end up a cricket score nice back heel no, he does Badia Shiel, and there's a goal for West Brom. West Brom do get one back. He sent me to the shops with Badia Shiel. It's not a bad goal at all. Levy Garcia, though. Nice ball to Nkunku, as West Brom can't defend. They really can't defend, and Nkunku makes it three. This is abysmal from West Brom. And Kunku now over the top, Garcia, nice touch, smacks the post. Not a bad effort, but Chelsea will go in at half-time. Three, one up. Caicedo now. Oh, dirty tackle from West Brom. Madueke will get space. Two line one up, smacks the post. And Levy Garcia taps it in. Nope, nope, it's offside. Mate, stop celebrating. It's off. No, oh, it's poor defending from Chelsea again. As West Brom go in, but Badia Shield recovers. What a class act at the back. And Gunku with you over the top. It's Garcia's time now. As he will go to round the keeper, and is he hit the post again? I think he has. The goalkeeper does do a good job, though, of standing his ground. I was waiting for him to go to the floor, and he didn't. 
Oh, nice ball into Noni Madueki now. As he will dart it across, Enzo Fernandez so nearly gets there. It is not to be, though. West Brom going forward. As he plays a good ball and it's 3-2. They do have one back now. But in the 89th minute, can West Brom nick a point here? Chelsea win the loose header now. As Madueki will go for it. Oh, my God. What a goal from Noni Madueki. That's game. West Brom will not be getting a point. It is 4-2 Chelsea and the game is done. And this one deserves a replay. Look at the angle here. How's he got this over and round? Oh my God, Madueke. Runs off like prime. Alan Shade, a pointed finger. Brilliant, lad. And Chelsea do go and recruit three more points. We now have a massive Champions League tie coming up. There was Chelsea host Munch and Gladbach. And you look at the group. We need to win this badly. I will not be making any changes from the weekend's game against West Brom. This will be my team, and hopefully they can get us three points. Chelsea sticking the pressure on early. The Munch and Gladbach keeper plays a risky ball. Ooh, dodgy ball again, and Kunku's running onto it. Can't get there, though. Munch and Gladbach getting away with it early on. They do now go forward as they get a man in space. Wesley Fofana manages to intercept, though. Very nice. They've come up, fired up, though. Munch and Gladbach, they're pinning Chelsea in here. Ball in to Fafana, smashes it in. Not our Fafana, their Fafana. It's 1 0 Munch and Gladbach and a terrible start for Chelsea. 2 1 now on the ball. Ball in now, Garcia gets the flick on, and yeah, Madueki does tap it in. It wasn't a pass, but it did fall to him. Lucky goal for Chelsea, but they will absolutely take it. It's 1 1. Oh, brilliant pressing from Nkunku now. Is it Garcia? The ultimate opportunist. No, keeper does save. Munch and Gladbach on the ball now. Phenomenal ball though now. And it's a quality save from the Chelsea goalkeeper. He's always there when they need him. Nice football though from Nkunku and Jackson. Linking up. Good ball into Jackson now. He'll try cutting. He does so. Nicholas Jackson can't finish. Why can the Chelsea strikers not bag today? Chelsea really wanting to win this though. Good ball in. Christopher Nkunku now turns the burners on. He's in. He will go around the keeper and dig the last defender. Oh my God, Christopher Nkunku, what a goal. Ultimate composure, that is absolutely stunning. It takes a real bottle there to slow everything down and dink it over the last man. That is beautiful. Massive goal for Christopher Nkunku. Game nearly done now for Chelsea, but Barry Show messes up now. Was the Fafana with a quality tackle? Not over yet. As Fafana goes to shoot, what a save. This goalkeeper, man, unreal. Chelsea needed those three points desperately, and they do manage to get it. The group is looking a lot better, though. Now, as Barcelona did beat that other team, don't know how to pronounce them. I'm not even going to bother trying. But we do play them next on the 17th of October, and we should be beating them.